Okay, so in today's video, we are going to move the eggs from the incubator into the hatcher. So today is day 18, and this is what you're going to need to get started. You're first going to need your chick baskets. We put a little bit of a mat inside here just to keep the chick's legs from, from spraying. You're going to need some empty cardboard egg trays. You're also going to need to get your egg tray from the actual incubator. So today again is day 18, we're going to candle. We're going to remove, uh, separate good eggs and bad eggs. Good eggs are eggs that have got a chicken inside. So when you candle, they're going to be dark because naturally there is a chicken inside, which we'll show you now. Bad eggs then go into your egg trays, which you then you throw away. Okay, so we're gonna start candling. So we're gonna grab your torch and we're gonna shine on the eggs. As you can see, it is all dark, which, which means there's an egg inside. So now this here, is a bloodline this is died along the way so what you could do at this stage is you could have two separate trays and you could put separate bloodlines and infertile but for us we're just going to keep it in one tray we generally do that later at the end of it just to speed things along so as it you carry on you see there's another infertile okay. this one actually looks crap which we must have missed So we go along the egg tray. As I'm going along, I'm removing the infertile. So this is what you want to do. You want to be quick. You don't want to be too long. So remember now these eggs are getting cold. In an ideal situation, you want your outside temperature to be 27 degrees. Which is not always possible if you're still a small hatchery. Now this one is infertile, as you can see, it's shining right through. So these are bad eggs. These eggs will end up getting fed to our pigs. This one is an example of a bloodline. He died very early on. Now you could design a, a jig or a table that you could then shine a candle eggs all at one time but this this is the cheapest alternative okay you can turn the lights on so now that you've candled and removed all the infertile it's time to put them in your baskets and then put them into your hatcher okay so i'm just going to grab eggs and gently place them in the basket Okay, so we're going to speed up this process and uh, once I'm busted. Okay, so now you can see the basket is pretty full. You don't want to put too many chicks, I mean too many eggs in a basket because it will actually hamper, hamper the ability of the chicks to hatch. Um, you want to keep enough space in here so that the chick can actually break free from the egg. I'm just gonna move on to the next basket. Again, you wanna be quick. You don't wanna take too long. So ideally, this is a three-man job. One person is controlling the incubator door and the hatcher door. One person is doing this work and the other person is then putting it into the hatcher. Now. Okay. That's basically it. You're gonna leave it in here from 18 to 24 days. 21 22 is when everything should start hatching. 
Thank you.